Oh my god, I need the shit in between my tits. They're so big, they ruined my goddamn posture and made my back hurt. I need that shit right in between my titties. <laughs> They're embarrassing. And people would make fun of me if they knew I like to get shit on my chest. Don't you have anything like that, Ronda? Well... <laughs> That's probably a good idea, Hydralisk. Yeah, I guess I do. <laughs> I feel like everyone has a little something like that. The best we can do is respect each other and our individu individualities. Even if it's difficult sometimes and some things make us uncomfortable. After all, I had it, if I hadn't learned to embrace my own weirdness, I wouldn't probably hate myself. I, I might be running a little bit now, but I'm glad that you're a good listener. You're good at a lot of things. Are you good at licking pussy? <laughs> Writing, listening, fucking. There really aren't many people like you, Radna. <laughs> That, that's exaggerating a little bit. It's just how I feel. <laughs> I never thought I would feel so comfortable sharing my writing. But now I almost feel like I look forward to it. It's just a really nice feeling. And you're to thank for that. Ah, uh, it's such a good feeling. Uh. <laughs> it's it's nothing really <laughs> Yuri smiles sincerely at me for just a moment her timidness seems to disappear um who's the bitch uh we have to i guess we'll do natsuki a second i don't know i Right now, I'm just going to keep going for as long as I want to go. <laughs> I don't have anything going on. My wife's at work till like for another six plus hours. So. Uh, <laughs> I'm not not a 24 hour stream, Astrals. I'm not that good at this thing. <laughs> well, I can admit that's better than the last one. It's nice to see that you're putting in some effort. That's good. But I still don't like this at all. It's trying too hard to be serious. Eh? What do you mean by that? Poems don't need to be all deep sounding to express something. It's going to just sound like you're forcing it unless you really don't suck at it. No, this is a real game pugger, Reef. Honestly, don't bother trying to write poems like this until you're on Yuri's level. Atsuki stops short all of a sudden. D don't tell me. Eh? You're not... You're not just trying to impress Yuri, are you? What? What are you talking about? Keep your voice down! You know, Yuri would love this kind of... this angsty... Just because she's a talented writer doesn't mean I... I mean... Uh, looks like I'm in trouble. I somehow struck a nerve, though what I did is beyond me. <laughs> I'm so done with you. Matsuki shoves the poem I handed her back over to me. Take your stupid poem. If you write it for someone else, just don't show it to me. Ouch. This is what I get for letting a younger girl step in into my business. Unless I was a mind reader, I was destined to be in a world of pain from the start. At least Natsuki wasn't really the girl I was trying to impress in the first place. Let's do Monica. Hi, 
Ryuki and Radna. How's the writing going? Alright, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad. I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. <laughs> I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Wanna share what you wrote for today? Sure. Here we go. I give my poem to Monica. Alright. This one's good. It feels like you're not only getting more comfortable with your style, but the imagery is better than the last one I read. Just wondering, but have you been finding inspiration in Yuri's writing style? Hmm? I guess so. You can't deny that she's talented. Yeah, totally. Her tits are even bigger than mine. I think her poems are the most... Romantic. That's the best way to describe it. She's like a totally different person when she picks up a pen. I noticed that too. When she's talking about literature, it's like a light turns on inside her. Mm. Sadly, it's hard to get much personal conversation out of her. Trust me, I've tried. Who knows what goes on in the head of hers? I hope you don't mean that in a bad way. No, of course not. I just meant that I wish she didn't keep so much to herself. But still, defending her like that. You must be pretty into her. Huh? <laughs> oh, baby, Dr. Butt. You completely misunderstood. Nice nap, Freebam. <laughs> Calm down. I'm kidding. Besides, I'm pretty sure she's already got a boyfriend. Wait, really? Yeah, a fictional one, anyways. How you doing, Doc? You sexy fuck. I love you. Monica, no, Monica kind of whispers that last part to me. It's just a hunch, but... Well, there's not really anything wrong with that. Oh, well, I know. I was just saying. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. All right, let's take a... Um, all right, let's take a look. Save me. The colors, they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue. An endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violent, grating waveforms. Squeaking, screeching, piercing. Sine, cosine, tangent. Like playing a chalkboard on a turntable. Like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust. An endless poem of meaninglessness. Load me. What? Isn't a isn't a fictional boyfriend just a vibrator? Hmm. Hmm. Just resting. My, are you tore your pack? How did you do that? Bam! I hope you had a good nap. It's even more abstract than your last one, huh? <laughs> I guess it's just the way I write. I'm sorry if you don't like it. No, I never said that. It's just kind of the... It's just kind of a, a thing I've never really seen before, I guess. I kind of like playing with my space on the paper. Choosing where and how to space your words can totally change the mood of the poem. I mean, that sounds about right. It's almost like magic. The way I wrote the lines really short makes it feel like they're trying to speak over the noise. Tell that, to a Tell that to a friend of mine from college who had to kill her fictional French boyfriend from her high school exchange program. She gave him cancer. What? <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God, Doc, that's insane. I'm sorry, buddy. I see. What the fuck? It's still hard for me to tell what it's about, though. <laughs> Sometimes writing a poem is about... It isn't the right question. A poem can be abstract as a physical expression of a feeling.
Yeah, Greg, this sounds batshit crazy. Or a conversation with a reader. So putting it that way, not every poem is about something. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. You don't, you never know when you might change your mind. What the fuck? Why are they talking about my game? Have I? Ah. Uh. The crazy ones always fuck real good, Greg. No, Greg, no. Okay, where'd my go? Okay, I'm gonna save my fucking game. Why is she telling me to do that? Wait, is this tip even about writing? What am I even talking about? Uh-oh. Uh-huh. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. I know, that's what I'm saying, Greg. Thanks for listening. Ooh. I like this one, Ragnar. Got some nice feelings in it. Ah, uh, I'm glad. Does that mean it's better than yesterday's? Mm, let me think. I don't know. I guess I like them both. <laughs> That's not very helpful, you know. Well, I'm not very good at figuring out if poems are good or bad. But that's why I just go by my heart. If it makes me feel things, then it must be a good poem. I'm not sure... I'm not ex I'm not sure that's exactly how it works. And again, I guess conveying feelings is a pretty important part of the this whole thing. I mean, it's it's always they're the ones like hanging from the ceilings and like going ass to mouth and doing whatever they do. They're the ones who are going and eating ass in the aisle 7 by the frozen peas. Yeah, maybe. Honestly, I don't even know what kind of writing you like in the first place. Yeah! Me neither. Hug. Now, if you learn anything from Clerks 2, Rachel, is sometimes it's okay to go ass to mouth. Rosario Dawson taught me that much. <laughs> Why don't you at least try giving it some thought? Aw, you want to write something for me? That's so sweet. Yeah, right. But you're always thinking about other people. You need to think about yourself once in a while. If you don't, you might end up getting hurt at some point. Eh? Well, I don't really know what you mean, but I'll try to keep it in mind. Well, whatever. I mean, have you seen Clerks 2, Rachel? Anyway, let's see. Mm. I guess I like it. Happy poems! Wait, sometimes I like sad poems, too. Sayori has ADHD like I've never seen in my entire life. Sometimes a little bit of both. There's a word for that, right? What's the word I'm looking for? Bittersweet. Yeah! I like things that are happy and things that are sad. Happy and sad? I can't see you liking something sad, Sayori. Well... Well... I like happy the most. But sometimes when you have a little rain cloud in your head, a sad poem can help you give the rain cloud a little hug. <laughs> ass to mouth is okay, as long as the ass mouth goes to the bathroom and brushes and listerines first. I think you mean, yeah, you want to do those things after the ass to mouth. And make a nice, happy rainbow. Sayori, that's unexpectedly poetic. Eh? It is? Maybe I'm getting better at expressing my feelings after all. <laughs> Thanks, Radna. I should go write that down. You can read my poem now, okay? Bottles. I th what the fuck? No, I didn't mean to do that. Fuck. Holy crap. I gotta load that game. Because I didn't see her poem. Okay. Okay, we need to get to the poem. I'm 
glad I saved it. Rachel, we're gonna always convince you that the things you do in life, you need to learn in new experiences. We're here to teach. Okay, we need to get that home. Where is it? Where's my goddamn poem? I'm not reading all this shit again. Bottles. I pop up, I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. It's the secret place where I keep all my dreams. Little balls of sunshine. All rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger and pluck one out. It's warm and tingly. But there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe. And I put the bottle on the shelf with all the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts, and bottles. All in a row. My collection makes me lots of friends. Each bottle is starlight to make it amends. Sometimes my friends, my friend feels a certain way. Down comes a bottle to save the day. Night after night, more dreams. Friend after friend, more bottles. Deeper and deeper my fingers go. Like exploring a dark cave, discovering the secrets hiding in the nooks and crannies. Digging and digging, scrapping and scrapping, I blow dust on my bottle caps. It doesn't feel like time elapsed. My empty shelf could use some more. My friends look through my locked front door. Finally, all done, I open up and come, and in come my friends. In they come, in such a hurry. Do they want my bottles that much? I frantically pull them down from the shelf, one after one, the other. Holding them out to each other and every friend, each and every bottle. But every time I let one go, it shatters against the tile between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts in shards all over the floor. They were supposed to be for my friends, my friends who aren't smiling. They're all shouting, pleading, something. All I hear is echo, 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 echo inside my head. Wow, that's fucked up. <laughs> Holy crap. Siori, did you really write this? Of course I did. Didn't I tell you yesterday I was going to write the best poem ever? Yeah, but... I mean, I didn't expect it, like something like this coming from you. Monica taught me a whole lot. And I've been really in touch with my feelings recently. I see that. It's almost kind of creepy. Creepy? Well, not exactly. Maybe because I'm so used to you being cheerful. Well, never mind. I'm thinking too hard about it. The point is, it came out good. You should be proud of it. Aw, thanks. I feel like... I feel like I was meant to express myself this way. It helps me understand my feelings a little bit better. Writing is like magic. You've gotten pretty passionate about this, huh? I hope you keep it up. Yeah! Writing's the best. I'm gonna keep writing until I die. <laughs> Don't get out of yourself. Siori's always had a habit of getting obsessed with something before dropping it no more than a week later. I wonder if this is one of those times. But seeing the passion in her eyes makes it hard for me to be pessimistic. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? I have something extra planned today, so if everyone could sit at the front of the room... Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Ugh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we could put together anything good in just a few days. We'll end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. There's a con that's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? We won't need much more than a few decorations. Sayori has been working on new on posters and I've designed some pamphlets we can give out during the event. Okay, that's great and all. But that doesn't tell us what we're actually going to be doing for the event. Oh no, Rachel, no! Ah, sorry, I thought you heard about it already. 
We're gonna be performing. Performing? <laughs> um, Monica? Yeah, we're gonna be having a poetry performance. Each of us are going to choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is we're also going to let anyone else come up and recite poems too. So you're always putting it all on the posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. Sayori, who's been coloring a poster, holds it up for us to see. Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't, you didn't really start putting those posters up, did you? A few drinks sounds good, Greg. Eh? Well, I did. Do you really think it's that bad of an idea? Well, no. It's not a bad idea. But I don't sign, I didn't sign up for this, you know. There's no way I'm going to be performing in front of a group of people like that. I... I agree with Natsuki. I can never in my life do something like that. Imagining it, Yuri shakes her head in fear. Guys, no Sayori. I understand where they're coming from. Remember that Natsuki and Yuri have never shared their poems with anyone until a couple days ago. It's a lot to ask for them to recite their poems out loud to a whole room full of people. I guess I kind of overlooked that. So I'm sorry. But I still think we should give it our best. We're the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. If we start the event and each put on a good performance. Okay, Virobot, love you. And then we'll try others to do the same. And the more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show everyone what literature is all about. Yeah! It's about expressing your feelings. Being intimate with yourself. Oh, yeah. Let's be intimate with ourselves. Oh, oh yeah. Mm. <laughs> Finding new horizons. And having fun! That's right! And for those reasons, we're all, mate, we're all in the club today. Don't you want to share with that with others? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? I know you do. I know we all do. And if it's all it takes in standing in front of the room for two minutes and re reciting a poem, then I know you can do it. Natsuki and Yuri remain silent. Sayori looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that Sayori and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. The least we could do is help them out a little bit. Well, maybe, but... Looks like Natsuki doesn't have any arguments left. Uh, okay, fine. I guess I'll just have to get it over with. Phew. Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? Yuri dejectedly glances around into everyone else's expectant faces. Sorry. I, I guess I don't really have a choice. <laughs> That's everyone! You're the best, Yuri! This club is seriously going to be the death of me. Oh, gosh. You'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway, let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're going to practice reciting them in front of each other. No, no, no way! Monica! This is too sudden! Well, if you can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers? Oh no. Don't worry. I'll start off to help everyone feel a little more comfortable. Can I go next? <laughs> of course! Now let's see. Monica flips her notebook to the specific poem she has in mind for herself. She then stands behind the podium. The title of this poem is The Way They Fly. Ahem. Monica begins reciting her poem. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, her, ref or her inflection is pristine. 
She knows exactly how to apply emotion behind each line she recites, bringing the words to life. Is this something she's done before, or is she simply a natural? I glance around me. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Siori looks amazed. Yuri has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. Finally, Monica finishes the reaction. The four of us applaud. Monica takes a deep breath and smiles. That, that was so good, Monica. <laughs> Thank you very much. I was just hoping to set a good example. Are you ready to go next, Sayori? I... I'll go next. Oh, hot. Yuri's fired right up all of a sudden. Yuri clutches a sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. Keeping her head down, she walks quickly over to the podium. This poem is called... Yuri anxiously glances at each of us. You can do it, Yuri. It's... It, it's called After Image of a Crimson Eye. Yuri's, Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? As Yuri gets the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happens when Yuri gets absorbed into her books. Her quivering words transform into the sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. The poem is full of twists and turns in its structure that she enunciates with perfect timing. This must be a rare glimpse into the whirling fire Yuri escapes concealed inside her head. Suddenly, she's finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri snaps back into reality and glances around her as if she... as if she bewildered even herself. Uh -huh. It's up to me to save the situation. I'm the first to start applauding. Everyone joins me afterward and we give Yuri the recognition she deserves. It's not that we didn't want to applaud for her, but we were caught so off guard that we must have forgotten. As we applaud, Yuri holds the poem to her chest and rushes back into her seat. Yuri, that was really good. Thank you for sharing. Looks like Yuri's down for the count. Okay! I guess I'm next then. So Yuri helps out of her chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. This one's called My Meadow, aka My Pussy. I call my pussy My Meadow. Uh. Uh huh. -huh. Sorry, I giggled because I'm talking about my pussy in front of you guys. <laughs> Sayori. A Sayori. It's a lot harder than I thought. Title of your sex tape. How did you guys do it so easily? Uh, try not to think of it like you're at reciting to other people. Imagine you're reciting it to yourself. Like in front of a mirror, or in your own head. It's your poem, so it'll come out the best that way. I see, I see. Okay then. Sayori begins her poem. Somehow it feels like her soft voice was made as a perfect match. The poem isn't aimlessly cheery like Sayori is. It's serene and bittersweet. If I were to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it. But hearing it come from Sayori's voice almost gives it a whole new meaning. But this is what Sayori meant when she said she likes my poems. It's like I get to reach more deeply into someone I thought I knew through and through. No, I think I think there's something about to happen that this game stops being a dating simulator and turns into horror, Greg. So I don't know. Sayori finishes and we applaud. I did it! Good job, Sayori. <laughs> even Rob not like it. I guess that's a good sign. What does that even mean? Nope, Viro, I am not. It came out nicely, Sayori. The atmosphere of this poem fits you really nicely. <laughs> but it might be that other poems wouldn't work quite as well with that kind of delivery. Eh? I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen poems of yours where that sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. That might need a little more force behind them, depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. That's... Well, I've been practicing.